Welcome or welcome back everybody, I'm the Ink Archivist here again with the 2022 Diamine Ink Vent Calendar. Today we're looking at Day 6, which is Ghost. Now Ghost is a standard gray color, kind of a light gray, which has some interesting properties. I would say it's a huge shader and it has some complexities to its color. I'll be filling it in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Sakura Side Jiki. This is the only Sailor I have with a zoom nib, and I wanted that wider nib for this light color. In case you were wondering why I always syringe fill all my pens, it's because I'm a pretty uh, messy person. I would definitely contaminate all my inks if I didn't use a syringe. Next up, we'll be doing the ink swabs on Tomoe River paper. HP32, this kind of souped up printer paper that I always have in the description if you're ever curious. It's just a little bit more fountain pen friendly. Then Apica, and lastly, Rhodia. On the uh, Tomoe River paper, you definitely got a lot more depth of color. There's kind of some green and blue in this that will come out a little bit more fully on that Tomoe River paper, where it comes up a little bit flatter in color on uh, the 32 in Rhodia. And you can tell already from this swab that it's going to be a big shader. So here is my notebook therapy notebook with my page of notes so you can get a sense for what this will look like filling up a whole page and how readable it is. This is a little deceiving though, I think on some papers, especially Tomoe River paper, the shading makes it a little less readable. I decided to do some ink splatters before I did the writing samples today because there was some interesting blue haloing, it's very minor that I noticed on some of the writing or some of the larger ink samplings. So I wanted to try and capture that. I was able to a little bit. I'll show you once this is dried. Other than that, I have my Hokuro 2.0 stub nib for the title as always. Then I will be pulling out that Sakura Saijiki with the zoom nib for uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I decided to do it both in um, print and cursive today because I do think it looks pretty different depending on what you're doing and you're not getting as much of the shading and therefore it's not as dark when you're doing cursive. First up on the comparison swabs, I'm just laying down Diamine Ghost again really quick. Next I will be pulling out Iro Shizuku Fuyu Shogun, an ink this gets compared to quite a bit. And if you're looking for a more readable alternative, I think this is a good one. Or if you have a preference for a slightly wetter ink, that is what this line of ink is very well known for. And lastly we have Diamine Grey, which is much darker than Ghost and a little bit darker than that Fuyu Shogun. And on those splatters, Hopefully you can see that it has a bit of a blue tinge to it. I was also impressed that this did not bleed through the paper where I splattered that ink on it. I let it sit there for a while. So now it's time to wrap this up. So here are the finished ink swabs. And I like that I have a small bottle to play with of this, but I won't be needing a full one, certainly. I have a full bottle of Fuyu Shogun, and again, that's more readable and practical than this ink. I think it's cool how good of a shader it is, and the fact that it disappears at some point in the stroke is pretty appropriate for an ink named Ghost. So again, if you're using broader nibs, this could be a very fun ink. But that's all for me. Thank you for joining and have a good one. Bye!